Hey guys, Joe Jaguar here one more time. Wanted to show you guys, since I still have the Zumo 130, which is a 5.1 inch F5 reflector, uh, what's neat about it, I have two AZ3 mounts. That's what's neat about the Zumo being on rings and a dovetail. It's on, if you want something portable, like an AZ3, an EQ2, an EQ3 mount, it will definitely work. Okay, what would be my choice if I had the, the choice of buying a 5.1 inch, now let's forget about name brand, if it was a 5.1 inch reflector, parabolic, F5, against a six inch, so almost a full inch aperture more, because this is a 130, that's a 150, 5.1 inch, that's a six inch. So it's almost a full inch more aperture. But this one is what they call a Burge Jones design, or it has a Barlow inside the focuser to achieve a higher magnification and a higher focal ratio than in what, what it technically has. It also means, because it has the Barlow, it also has a spherical mirror. So what would I would what would I prefer if I had a choice between a 5.1 inch with a parabolic mirror or a six inch, slightly bigger? Um, so that one is f 9.3. So really, it would be almost like uh, 4.6 uh, without that Barlow uh, type of thing. Um, now this one probably would cost cheaper because it's cheaper to make a spherical mirror and put the Barlow in. Uh, but you know what, even if it was, uh, if it had a parabolic mirror with no Barlow, it would be like an F4.6. With a, a parabolic mirror, it probably would perform pretty decent. It'd be fairly fast. This one is like F5. So if it was F4.5 or F4.6, what I equ equivalent uh, it would be, uh, it would still be slightly even faster than that. Now, what does that mean faster? Faster means wider field of view. Um, also means uh, the focal length, like to achieve higher powers, is slightly higher. Uh, because, you know, it's really hard to get, the faster it is, or the wider it is, it's more generally used for like wide, deep sky objects. It's not really meant for high planetary or high pushing the power. Does that make sense? Hopefully, I don't want to get too technical, but that's basically what it means. Um, also, the faster you go, or the shorter, or the wider you go, um, it's going to have coma. So in that mirror, F5, um, it's going to have some coma. So the last 20 degree, whatever your field of view is going to be when you look through the telescope, the last 20% is going to have, the stars are not going to be... Uh, no, they're not going to be point, uh, pinpoint anymore. They're going to be a little bit inflamed or like a seagull. You know, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to be a nice tight star. Um, so the faster you go, so let's say we, if that didn't have that Barlow and it had a parabolic and if it was F4.5, it would even have worse coma. Uh, you could correct uh, with a item called a coma corrector but they're fairly expensive. They probably do sell it for an inch and a quarter format, but like for a two inch format, you're probably looking at at least $300 for something like the lower cost ones. Um, so maybe for an inch and a quarter, I'm just guessing it could be a hundred bucks um, and that will correct um, for that coma. Uh, but okay, so this guy, you know, at F5, you really don't need uh, a coma corrector, it will have some coma towards the outer 20%. This guy, if it was F4.6, uh, would have maybe 30% of the outer uh, field of view. Would, would, the stars wouldn't be nice and round or pointy. They would be le like a seagull type of um, aberration. Um, so that's the one thing you guys got to remember. But it doesn't have a parabolic mirror. It has a spherical mirror, which is lower quality, and then the only re the only way to make it usable um, is to put that Barlow inside to amplify it from 4.6 to 9.3, trying to correct the image somewhat, but it doesn't always work. Uh, in this design like that, 
going above 100 power or anything like that. The, I, the planetary views, uh, I mean, it says it has, you know, 1400 millimeter focal length, so it'll be easier to get the higher powers, but the image is not gonna be so crystal clear. It's gonna be more fuzzier, more uh, bloaty. Um, uh, it's just not gonna be really as sharp. So that's what you get in a Burge Jones design or a telescope with a Barlow in the focuser or an amplifier in the focuser. Yes, it's more, as you can see, this one is a little thicker. So this one will collect about 27% more light than this will because it's thicker, has a bigger mirror. But again, this one is not gonna be as sharp. So what would I prefer? If I had a choice between a Burge Jones design, a six inch F9, or a five inch or 5.1 inch F5. Conclusion, I would pick this one. Because yes, it's a little longer, but not by much, maybe uh, six inches more. I really, if, you, if you're gonna buy that one, right? If you're gonna buy that one, uh, I don't think six inches is really gonna make uh, a, a big difference, really. Um, type of thing. So I would go with the one with better quality, even though it has a um, shorter focal ratio, a, a shorter focal length. Uh, yes, achieving the high pi powers is going to be a little bit more difficult, but because as a parabolic mirror, you can push the power a little bit more um, and um, it, it will make the image fairly clear. Um, again, um, so that's, that's my pick. I would rather have something of a better quality. It, you could start, it's gonna be, uh, this one's gonna be wider, being F5 compared to F9.3. So this one's gonna be wider, but when you wanna push it, you already have the good mirror to push it further deeper. Yes, this one, you can use a lower or uh, slightly less entry or expensive eyepieces to get higher power, but the image will always be soft the higher up you go above 100, it's just gonna be not as crystal clear. To collimate that guy is gonna be tougher. Because of that Barlow inside, it's a lot harder to uh, collimate this one than this one with a non-Barlow. You could do it, but I think it's gonna take just more knowledge, somebody with a little bit more expertise to do it properly. Uh, so it is more headache to do that one, um, and you cannot, if you try, I actually heard on the forums that some guy did, was able to take it off, the Barlow, and get it to work. But I just don't know how that would be because uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it could actually work. If you take that Barlow out and put a different focuser, um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. If you wanna try it, go ahead. I heard of a guy who did. I don't know what kind of use. I mean, unless he took out uh, the Barlow out and put a, a parabolic mirror in there, I, I could see that working, but the parabolic mirror would have to be, you know, you gotta get that focal ratio, focal length perfect. I mean, I suppose you could cut the tube down, whatever you need uh, to, to make it work, like if it's an F5 uh, type of thing. Um, so for instance, a six inch parabolic mirror at F5 would be 750 millimeter focal length. So if you're really good at math and you're really good at the hobby, you can figure out uh, with your focuser and what size tube you would need, but that's a lot of work to do. I don't see the new people, uh, you know, even doing that. So again, this video, which one would I prefer? A Burge Jones design that has that Barlow in there with a spherical mirror or a more proper, slightly smaller telescope, F5, so it's a little bit longer, it's more wider, but with a better parabolic mirror, I would choose this one hands down. Anyway, guys, just thought I'd show you guys that video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe if you like my um, if you like my videos and explanations and stuff like that. Again, on other videos, uh, you know, um, to to be monetized, you need a couple things. You need to hit a thousand subscribers, which I'm getting close to 500. So I'm, I'm slowly getting there and you need 4,000 hours of people watching your videos to get monetized. Now, I just hit 3,000 uh, hours, that's today when I'm taping, 
However, I'm not 100% sure when this is coming out. It might even be in two months. So I'm a really, I'm already three quarters the way of watched hours. So which tells me people like my videos, they watch it a decent amount of time that I got the watch hours three quarters the way there. And I'm yet even, uh, I'm not even halfway as far as subscribers is concerned. So that means more people watch my videos longer, but I don't have a whole bunch of subscribers to, you know, push me to that thousand yet. So again, if you like my videos, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.